Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Damn, Ace of Pentacles. Looks like you have a brand new practical beginning coming up. There's someone here who loves you very much and this is someone who wants to offer you something solid, something committed. Could be a very, it's, it's an opportunity, okay, from the universe, but it has the potential to grow very, very big. So do not underestimate this offer here. Queen of Pentacles. There's someone here, but it looks like there's someone here who looks at you as um, wanting to. This person wants marriage with you, okay? They want commitment, they want marriage. They see you as a very uh, motherly energy, someone very nurturing, someone very practical, very grounded. They see you very, very focused on your growth, your stability, security, and now they're coming in wanting to offer you something stable, something tangible, all right? You could be someone who's all about commitment and probably there could have been a shakeup or a breakup between you guys. You could have very well ended things with someone, okay, with the world here and there's someone who's coming in to want to start a brand new chapter with you. But yeah, you're all about your stability, right? And that's something that you made it very clear to this person. Looks like you're more focused on yourself, your money, your career goals. And now that you're doing that, that's when the law of attraction, that's when that happens, right? And that's when... You're getting that gift from the universe. What else? For Aquarius, what else? Tell me what else for Aquarius. Nine of Pentacles. I don't think you really give a shit to this person, okay? Because you're enjoying your financial independence. You're absolutely okay on your own. Uh, you don't really care about this person any anymore. You realize your worth, your value. The other thing that I'm also getting is that you're very focused on your work and you're, you're, uh, you're focused on your career, your goals, your own stability, you're building towards it. Whilst this person is coming in with that offer because they see you in that light, okay? They really, really realize your worth, your value. And now they realize that you are someone who can be okay on their own, you know? You probably were a little codependent, a little clingy, needy in the past, but now they see you doing absolutely well, all right? And they're coming in. They're coming in and rushing in with communication, okay? <coughs> that Knight of Swords is bringing in that Ace of Pentacles for you. Like, they can't wait. They want to confront you. They want to talk to you now. Like, they could have messaged you yesterday. That's the kind of hurry that they are in. They can't wait. They don't want to miss an opportunity because they see you doing well. They're watching you from a distance. With the High Priestess here, I think you're trusting your intuition and you almost know that they're coming back. You know, the High Priestess is someone very psychic right but again this is someone who talks less knows more okay <coughs> you're probably going through this um you know period of silence you've detached from this person completely you've detached from the situation you're trying to get like you know like a very zoomed out view you know like an ethical view about what's really going on but you um you're choosing to keep quiet and watch from a distance while working on yourself <coughs> again but you know more than you say okay and with the king of wands here it looks like there is someone here okay who really 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 finds you very intriguing this is someone very intimidated by you because the high priestess can definitely be someone intimidating okay but yeah they they really respect you and they've literally put you on a pedestal is what i'd say <coughs> Like I'm getting the silent treatment is making this person come towards you and take action towards you. Yeah, but with the eight of swords here, I think you're the one who's a little confused when it comes to this person. Queen of wands. See, we have the king and the queen here. <coughs> I feel with the Eight of Swords here, this could be this person who's living in their head, okay? <coughs> this is someone here who's very stuck, who feels stuck or they're very confused, okay? Probably confused by the swords around them, which are all their thoughts, okay? So their own thoughts are blocking this person from probably coming towards you because I honestly, I don't see any action towards them. The Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the universe, okay? This is what the universe wants to give you. But remember, with the King of Wands here, you are the one who wants this person to take action. But there's something here where they are coming in their own way, you know, with the Eight of Swords here. They're uh, 
uh, paralyzed by fear is what I'd say and they're living in their thoughts they're living in their head rather than in reality but with the queen of wands here they do see you as someone not only focused grounded and practical but at the same time someone who's going to go ahead and take action towards what they're very passionate about so they do see a lot of suitors around you and they do see you as someone who has a lot of confidence in what you want and you don't really give a damn to them for sure <clears throat> See, page of wands finally we have some action we do have some communication coming in but the page of wands compared to the queen of pentacles i mean see there is this energetic difference out here okay so this person is probably they're trying to find that spark within themselves trying to find the spark they're wanting to reignite the spark within this dynamic okay but yeah this is a new way of approaching you you know probably with a very light-hearted approach because the page of wands is not serious at all this is someone who likes fun and games but someone who has a very light-hearted energy okay so yeah expect some communication and why they watch you from a distance okay with the page of swords here they are stalking spying looking and trying to find out more information about you whilst they see you with the nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles doing you It could also be you with the Eight of Swords who's very confused about what this person wants, okay, when they come to approach you. Or maybe you just have a lot of expectations from them. Eight of Swords is just blocking out thoughts or just not being able to see clearly, okay, and not being able to see clearly because of your own issues. Three of Cups. This person wants a reconciliation with you. <coughs> but I think you choose with the Four of Swords here, you choose to be on your own, you choose to give them the silent treatment. Or you choose to be silent with no activity you know you choose to take some time off you want to think about the situation that's why the eight of swords here but what's happening with the four of swords here from the four to eight so what i feel is that you're not giving time to cope up with stress in fact i think you're overthinking and you're turning restless with the situation which is driving you with eight of swords here where you're absolutely stuck in your head and you don't know what to do about it the eight of swords is an energy where um you're doing this to yourself. I mean, I'm really sorry to say this, but Eight of Swords is where you're coming in your own way. You feel trapped. You feel restricted, okay? You feel backed in a corner. You feel your hands are tied. You're, you feel you're, you're the victim here. But actually, with Eight of Swords here, you are not a victim, okay? This, you're a victim of your own thoughts, your own illusions, and your, and your own belief system, okay? You feel powerless and hopeless, all right? But that's not really the case. In fact, you're winning. You're winning here. That's when the communication coming in and that's exactly what they want. They want a reconciliation. They want to get back to you. Any more? See, Knight of Swords. This just wanted to come out, right? So yeah, they're rushing it with communication. So with the Knight of Swords, yeah, that's what I said, right? This person's coming in to communicate. But again, be careful, okay? With the Page and the Knight of Knight of Swords, right? I feel this person is in a real hurry. They're in a rush. And it's it's just that the conversation is going to... It's, it's going in from the left to right, right? So which I mean is that probably it's going to start off with something very fun. But then uh, probably with the with the topic of the reconciliation, it's going to land up in an argument, okay? I feel this person, either this is you versus them where they're wanting to have a very lighthearted conversation, where you're wanting to confront this person, or this is just them with a page of wands. You're starting something lighthearted, wanting this reconciliation, but with the Knight of Swords here, they're going to get aggressive, okay? Because that's how it's progressing. See, this person has tried to see things from another point of view. They've changed their perspective and they're trying to see things from another point of view. Yeah, see, that's what I said with the tower here. This person has had a huge realization and epiphany about something. So they have had a tower moment here, okay? But this tower moment tells me that, again, like I said, right, there is a sudden change, all right? And whatever this happened, the sudden change has happened, there's something that has changed significantly, okay? This is not a bad thing. The tower is never a bad thing. It is, most of the time, it's like a destruction of some false beliefs or a negative pattern okay so if your relationship wasn't built on a very strong foundation then and if it was built on a very crooked foundation that's when the tower came in and it's destroyed whatever was not required whatever is not working for you all right and uh this could be a very difficult thing that they've gone through all right but 
the good part is that now your relationship is going to turn out to be more solid and you're going to have a more solid and honest foundation okay but this tower moment was required for them in order for them to realize what was going wrong <clears throat> King of Pentacles, nice. So we do have a true pair situation. What I like out here is that the King and Queen here. This is not like the Page of Cups and the Queen of Cups or like the Page of Swords. This is, a, you know, where the energies literally come into 3D, okay? This is real commitment with the King and Queen. You're both very, very focused on that stability, on security, on something very stable and serious, okay? Both of y'all are focused on something long-term. It's just that right now, I don't see you guys looking at each other, but you're both in the same energy, okay? So for me, I feel like you're both vibing on the same page. There is a little bit of issue here with the Eight of Swords here, where one person is stuck in their head and still operating from their fears, you know? But it's gonna be okay. I feel by the end of it, it's gonna be okay. What is the potential outcome that um, Aquarius can expect from this relationship? What is the potential outcome that Aquarius can expect in this relationship? What is the potential outcome that Aquarius can expect in this relationship? Nice chariot. You guys are moving forward. They're moving forward towards you. That, that success with a chariot here. It's not because of the universe. It's it's because of the willingness and determination and action that you take when you have uh, your emotions in control, okay? When you're thinking more logically. And finally, with the chariot here, I feel things are going to move forward. You're going to get clarity about a situation, okay? And there definitely, if there's someone here who wants to take things forward and move to the next level, but this is someone who's very, very willing, very determined after this tower moment to make things happen with you, okay? And this is someone who's very uh, sure about overcoming any obstacles they have they feel they have that inner strength to make things happen this person could be someone who didn't have their emotions in balance in the past okay but now their head and heart are both in balance and they're ready to move forward with you they're very clear about what they want and what they want is you and only you <coughs> nine of cups oh my god Aquarius I love your reading you have a wish coming true <coughs> you have a wish coming true that's emotional fulfillment. That's a wish come true. You're, something's just going to make you very, very, very happy. We have a nine and nine here, which means endings and new beginnings here. So there's something that is ending, whatever it was, and it's coming and starting in, into a new chapter. You could have been a little confused or you could be a little confused about this with the eight of swords here because you're like trapped in your head. You, you're like, you know, probably this person was someone who was non-committal. They weren't giving you the right signals or you had mixed signals and you didn't know what they wanted. But this ace of pentacles could be something which is keeping you very confused, okay, in your head. You probably don't know what to do about it. But the communication's coming in. They're going to confront you. And I think this is going to be someone who's just going to come in unexpectedly and they're going to talk about this okay and you're not going to be expecting this person but whatever it is you guys are moving forward in this relationship it seems like the right direction and it's going to make you very 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 happy i love this reading aquarius i hope this reading resonates with you like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye bye, -bye.